All right, girls, you better behave. This is the day. Are you nervous? Maybe a little bit. This one's been flowering for a while, so it'd be interesting to see how it behaves. Soon, Jana Gamble and Steve Tomlins will find out if their buds pass the test. For uh, 200 of them, I'm going to take you know about between 25 and 30 samples. For the first time in 50 years, farmers can legally grow hemp in Wisconsin. And then there's four acres here. The state regulates it and sent a surveyor to Turtle Creek Gardens in Delavan okay. to make sure the plants don't have more than 0.3% THC, THC being the chemical in marijuana that gets you high. The organic vegetable farmers started growing hemp to help fund their retirement. If these plants don't pass the test, the state will destroy them. The fear of a total crop loss. We've got a lot invested in this thing and it's been fun up to now and it would feel like the carpet got pulled underneath you and you hit your head. From here, he'll send the samples to a lab and the farmers should have the results within two weeks. Like you said, Michael, we're making history. All right. <laughs> and recording it. Before they make history, they have to prove the plants aren't too much like pot. In Delavan, I'm Adrian Pedersen, WISN 12 News. We'll let you know if they pass the test and harvest. The farmers plan to use the hemp to make cannabidiol or CBD oil to try to help people with seizures. They also want to use it for teas, medicine, and even animal bedding.